What is good? Diamond Nine is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, as you guys can tell by the title, what we're going to be getting into. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell they ain't your mama, tell they uncle Joey Stella. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. So Armand recently did a <laughs> sit down interview with Angela Yee's right, lip, lip service. service. Now, in the I have not checked it out. We'll see what happened. Let's go. This interview, they did ask him the question if he actually let Essie know that he was dating Regine before it actually hit the media. Mm hmm. My daughter and my baby's mother, that's, you know, my kid is where I don't feel like I have to talk to you about my next relationship, you know, mm -hmm. and then. Let me know how y'all feel about that. I feel like it really depends on the co-parenting relationship. It depends on the relationship that those two people have going on with each other, you know. Sometimes it's like, okay, we strictly co-parenting. I don't give a fuck about what you got going on. Don't ask me what I got going on. Sometimes it's a co-parenting situation to where it's like, okay we cool we actually still friends so let me know in the comment section down below if you have kids what is your co-parenting style do you prefer to just cut off all communication except for when it's about your daughter or about your son or do you actually want to have a friendship with that person who you had a child with let me know in the comment section down below and i know some of you guys are probably going to say that it depends on the person it depends on the situation but i'm talking about in your specific situation what do you guys do do y'all prefer to just you know be friends or do y'all prefer to just co-parent strictly co-parent and not talk and not you know ask each other how we're doing what's going on in our you know uh, uh romantic relationships and stuff like that let me know how y'all feel because i ain't got no kids so y'all let me know you know just speaking i just don't you know what i'm saying like now they also asked him the question if essie gave him any problems once this information did hit <laughs> the blogs but did you get any any problems from no, your baby mom i didn't get any problems when like, you hit the blogs no See? That's probably because yeah. they had a clear understanding we're not together. And nah, how they don't care. Together. I'm glad to hear that because I feel like Armand is very unpro uh, unproblematic from what I can see. It does not seem like Armand likes to just stir up trouble and have drama and all this extra shit. It seems like he's a laid back, cool, calm, collective ass nigga, right? And we all know, like I said, SC, sometimes she has her way. She has her pettiness. She has her messiness and things of that nature. So I really hoped that Armand could steer clear of the bullshit and live his life and enjoy his life and move on with his life, you know, without all the extra antics. So, yeah. you know, I know from some things that we've seen right. in the media with SE tweeting or right. even stating some things on the videos that she's exactly. been making, it doesn't seem like that there wasn't any issues there. Right. I agree. And I will say this once again. I feel like Armand is just an unproblematic ass nigga. And kudos to him. Shout out to him. Clap it up for Armand. Okay. In the comment section down below, give him some love. Because I feel like even when he goes on these interviews and they like these interviewers try to pull something out of him to make him talk bad about Essie. Nine times out of ten or ten times out of ten. I've never heard him speak ill on his baby mother. So shout out to him. No matter what type of messy shit or petty shit she has done in the media to make him look bad, to make his relationship look bad or whatever the case is, I feel like Armand has done everything in his power to make sure that his, the, his baby mother does not get talked down upon, especially by him, you know? So maybe it's a thing to where he's like, okay, we have a baby together and I don't want our child to grow up and then look at daddy talking shit about mama. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the case, I think it's dope as fuck that he will put his emotions and feelings to the side for his daughter. Because at the end of the day, these celebrities, these influencers, sometimes they don't realize the impact that this is going to have on their kids until their kids do get to a certain age. And they're like, damn, dad and mama's on this type of shit, you know? So you never know how a kid is going to handle that. And, you know, like I said, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. Do y'all think that he's just trying to protect legacy from all the extra shit that could result out of them two feuding? You know, 
that could be the case because I do feel like there are several times where Essie did throw shots, throw shade, you know, even had family members throw shade or whatever the case is. So, hey, that's neither here nor there. I do want to give Armand his flowers, though, and say that he is a stand up nigga, man, a stand up guy, a stand up man for not speaking ill in front of the world on his baby mama who he has a kid with. So shout out to him because there's a lot of niggas who will not let that shit fly. But anyway, guys. But it's good that Armand sees it that way. And even if he doesn't see it that way, he doesn't want to start any more drama by saying saying. that it was actually drama. Now, Essie is out enjoying herself right now in Turks and Caicos. As she should. As she should, man. Sometimes shit just does not work out, okay? And the whole thing with Essie is, you know, she was being shady. She was being messy and all of that. But I really wish her the best, too. I hope that she lives it up. I hope that she finds somebody who's for her. And I hope that she finds happiness within herself, you know? So, again, very mature. Y'all, too, watching this video out here. Of Armand to not bring up anything that has been going on on social media. But anyways, you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. And you know what? I want to say I'm proud of Essie. Okay, I got to give her some credit. I ain't going to be one-sided. I will say that I give Essie credit because Essie was trying to make a big deal about legacy being on the internet or whatever the case was. Oh, she can't be on social media or whatever the case is, right? We see that Armand is making content with legacy and we have not heard one peep out of Essie. So this goes to show that sometimes we don't know everything that happens behind the scenes, okay? We don't know if Essie and Armand chopped it up and had a conversation and said, hey, you know, is it cool that I put Legacy on my channel, this and that, and whatever the case is, I need some content or whatever it is, you know? I want to spend time with my daughter and film it and record it, document it, whatever the case is. So we don't know if that was a conversation or... Maybe Armand just took it upon himself to do what he wanted to do because it's his his kid too. So also let me know in the comment section down below, do you guys feel like if one person, if one parent doesn't want the child on the media, but the other parent does, do you guys feel like it's right for that one parent to still put their child on the media knowing that the other parent doesn't approve? Or do you feel like Shit, is their child too, so they're able to do what they want with their child. Let me know in the comment section down below. I feel like that's a very good question. Oh, but let's move on to this next topic with Crystal and Obey Tony. Now, in my previous videos, I did mention that it seems like they are no longer friends anymore. Now, Obey I just find that so fucking crazy because I swear we had just seen them on Instagram live like a month ago. Tony was on Instagram live last night and someone asked her the question, what's up with you and Crystal? Oh, what's shit. Up, what's up? What's up? Hold on, why is it so low? What happened with Crystal? I was seeing y'all talking about that nothing. Uh-huh. Please. Now that eye roll said more than there is nothing. Right, right, right. But you can't blame her for not wanting to put her private business on the net you just can't so it is what it is you know? there but anyways she also went on to tweet we ain't we ain't beefing. Beefing. <laughs> you just ain't gonna be around me mm. but you guys let me know what you guys think of okay so she didn't say anything on the live but this says everything anyway guys let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below man i love y'all i'm gonna finish my food make sure you like comment subscribe all of that tell a friend to tell a friend until they ain't your mama today uncle joey still a hoe i will see you guys in the next Motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.